This uh, video is uh, in regards to a video request um, from a viewer. So I just want to go ahead and uh, put this together real quick and show you um, how I made my kick drum. Um, so what I have here is um, basically it's a, it's a loop of a, of a song I already finished. Um, it's called Project 4. I just released it on my core records. Um, so basically the kick drum with all the instruments playing sounds like this. So that's what it sounds like with all the instruments playing. This is the kick drum by itself now, soloed. Okay, so um, I'm going to show you how I set that up to make it sound this way. All right, so first of all, we're going to talk about the drum kit that I used for this. It's pretty, pretty simple, pretty straightforward. Um, the drum kit that I used for this is um, basically it's called the Trance Kit Number Two, and um, I had to, you know, add some inserts and stuff on here to make it actually sound the way how it sounds right now. So we're going to talk about those first before we go on any further. Um, so the very first insert that I have up here on this kick drum is a compressor. The second one is the channel EQ, and the third one is the adaptive limiter. Um, I also have it, uh, other instruments side-chained through it on bus 3. Um, so let's look at the, uh, the compressor first. So the basic compressor setup for this kick drum to sound this way is I use the circuit type class uh, AR. Um, attack is set for 8.5. The ratio is set for uh, 4.6. The release is 110. Um, the compressor threshold is set for a negative 31.5. The gain is set at uh, 2.0. And the limit, uh, limiter threshold is set for a negative 3.2. Um, so that's the compressor settings. Um, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually take all this stuff off. I'm going to just open these up and then I'm going to bypass everything so you can hear what it sounds like without, and then you can hear what it sounds like with it. So I'm going to bypass the compressor first, then um, the EQ, and then the adapt adaptive limiter. Okay, and you can see they're all um, not showing up in blue anymore, so I bypassed them all. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and play it now, like this, so you can hear the difference. going to play it now by slowly adding one of these at a time so you can hear the difference. Okay, so I just added the compressor, now I'm going to add the EQ. Okay, so next I'm going to add is the adaptive limiter. So we already went over the, um, the basic setup for the compressor, so I'm going to go ahead and move. Actually, I'm just going to close it. And now we're going to look at the EQ next. So we're on the EQ. And um, normally when you open up your EQ default setting, um, it's going to have this one and this one grayed out. So just make sure you click them. Um, this was just a default EQ, and I just changed it the way how I, I wanted it to sound. Um, so you can basically just copy my settings that I have here. Um, you should be able to see them pretty, pretty clearly um, to make your, your sound sound this way. You can adjust these by putting your mouse um, on them, and then um, you can adjust them by holding down your left mouse button and sliding it up or sliding it down. Okay, just like this. To get the idea of how to uh, how to change these. Okay, 
So you can see here, this one slides to the left, the top one slides to the left and to the right. Um, this one makes it go up or down, the middle one. And this one tweaks the top of it, so it can make it wider, fatter. Um, so you can play around with this, and I'll go ahead and solo this with the drum again, so you can hear the difference in what these do. So that's just to give you an example of um, how you can manipulate the EQ to really get your drums the way how you really want them to sound more powerful. Um, so I mean, it's a huge difference from you know without it and with it, right? Okay, and then the very last one, basically. What this does is it's going to amplify everything. It's going to amplify everything without distorting your sound. You can really hear the power with it, without it with it, without it, and with it. So it's, it's a huge difference in, um, in the sound, but those are the three items that I use to make it sound this way. Um, also, um, I, I said I had it sidechained coming on bus three, so I have a few other um, things going on here, for example. So that's the melody I created. That's the melody I created, and um, I went ahead and I sent it through um, through the kick drum. So it sounds like this. So, um, so that's it for the tutorial. Um, if you have any questions about, um, about how I did it or you just want to know how I created a sound or something in the song, or if you want to find out more, uh, please subscribe to my channel, Dance Music Tutorials. Uh, I'll do my best to answer everyone's questions as I receive them. Um, please, uh, please keep a note that uh, there I, I do get a lot of requests for emails and stuff, so I try to answer them um, when, I, you know, when I can. So and answer them in order that I get them. So um, please stay tuned, please subscribe, and thanks for watching.